Hey, it's Brian. Got this MacGyvery set up for testing this elbow for the gimbal. It is a 3D printed carbon fiber nylon material um, printed on a Mark Forged X7. It is sort of honeycombed inside with a matrix of continuous carbon fiber throughout to give it strength that the company says is comparable to 6061 aluminum. I bonded the elbow into these metal tubes with this Scotch weld epoxy from 3M, which is supposed to be exceptionally strong. to note is that the gap between the inside of the pipe and the lug on the 3D carbon fiber is not ideal. It's bigger than it's supposed to be. Um, I also did it in my garage, which is colder than it's supposed to be. So there's that. I just lag bolted it to my workbench here and I'm going to hang five gallons of water from it, which is right there. Like not a whole lot happens. We're back, round two. I'm gonna try to give it some cyclic loading and see what happens. This is all just explore and discover. Got a little safety leash here in case the big old stretchy band decides to do something. So we'll give it some. So honestly, the only thing that's moving here is my lag bolt situation. Sixteen inches from here back to the elbow. I bent the uh, three eighths inch lag screws, so that's cool. Okay, now we're just getting crazy. Got my cut resistant insulated gloves on, safety glasses, two inch trailer hitch receiver pipe in there but oh I heard something crack a little bit you can see my feet are off the ground all 145 pounds ish of me going on there it's not really doing much is it right, let's see if we can get a little hop if I do a little hop highly scientific test See a little bit of a gap right there just a little bit so that is the epoxy probably torquing on this thing in the trailer hitch of my truck which happened to hold this thing nicely denting and divoting the uh, tube here and I mentioned at the beginning you know this epoxy setup wasn't totally ideal because you know the idea of the tube is larger than it should be for the way this lug is sized. It's larger than what the carbon fiber tubing is that I'm gonna use. You know, I didn't use the bond line separator, so it wasn't necessarily um, evenly evenly spaced or anything like that. I'm not surprised that the epoxy gave up. I'm actually impressed at how well it held up. Even though it, you know, it started to separate here, it's still really difficult to get it apart. So. Well, that was a process. I ended up having to stick this in the vise, which totally mangled up the tube and eventually probably 50 times of like reefing this back and forth like this to kind of very slowly work its way out. It's kind of interesting to look at this and you can see how the epoxy kind of all pushed in there and so then there was actually you know it looked like it looks like it mostly stuck to the um to the pipe and not so much to the lug which I had heard that this kind of epoxy maybe doesn't like nylon quite as much. But even so, that was a lot of force that I had to put on this to get it apart far beyond, I think, what it would see as a camera gimbal. And as far as I can tell, this printed piece is entirely intact and undamaged. 